see me? What is up YouTube? It is Reagan here back again with another video. Welcome to vlog number uno, one, one for the new year. Yes. Today we are actually going to be getting prepared to bring my grandchildren here. So yes, I'm an older nurse. I'm a new nurse, but I'm older. I have grandchildren. Yeah, so that's what we're gonna be doing over the next week. So it should be interesting. So first things first, I just got out the bath. I'm gonna go ahead and put on my facial creams. My mom actually, when I was home last, gave me these little teardrop looking things for your eyes because I've been struggling with like dark circles under my eyes. So I'm gonna go in with that. And you only have to use a dab. So I'm only gonna use this much here. We're gonna go under here. Like, I don't know. Sometimes I think it's because I'm not drinking enough water that these kind of dark circles are kind of there. And then at other times, I think it's my glasses, you know, because I'm used to wearing plastics. And I don't know, I'm kind of thinking, I wonder if they make spots on your face when you do. So, hmm. Jury's still out on that one. But this just feels really good going on. I'm gonna do that. I wish I knew the name. I'll have to ask my mom and let you guys know. The next thing that I'm gonna do is go behind that with my Frudia Brightening Cream. Y'all, I swear by this stuff. If you've watched any of my other videos, you've probably seen me using it. Um, I love it. It's really good. It's made from 100% citrus and it helps dark, not darken, it helps lighten any of those dark areas that you have on your face from like that occasional period bump or darkness under your eyes. So I use it pretty regularly here. So I use the Neutrogena Deep Moisturizing Moisturizer whenever I do use it. I will say that when I have to work seven to seven, um, typically I just use my brightener. We got our moisturizer on and I think we are ready to go. Well, first gotta get clothes on, but you know, you know, I can't go naked. Let's see, we have our lipstick up today. Okay, so I'm gonna show you my outfit. This is just kind of like a real rugged day. We're just gonna run out to the stores and do a little bit of shopping. Okay, so the outfit of today is I have my mossy oak um, camo sweatshirt and my brown boots and some jeans that I got from City Trend that I actually hate. So if you're hippie, these jeans just kind of make you look more hippie. I hate them, but that's what I chose to wear today and let's get out of here. Okay, so we finally made it to the car. We have a couple stops to make today. Um, I'm going to Ollie's to get a couple things. I'm going to Aldi, which is my favorite grocery store ever, um, to just restock the refrigerator. And then I think I need to go to Walmart. So I am back and I decided to make us some brownies, guys. These brownies they have at Aldi and they are delicious. Do you hear me? Like the bomb. Um, they're comparable to the Ghirardelli brownies. So I did pick these up. I pick these up quite frequently, hence the reason why I have not lost 15 pounds like I want to.
But anyway, whatever. So, let's see if they're ready. Go get it. So it is the next day. I'm up getting ready to go to the gym. Um, today is going to be a pretty chill day. I had some changes with the grandbabies. So it sounds like they're going to be here a little later on in the week. So that means that I can kind of get some things done around here that I need to. So I've been kind of going through this thing with my hair. Um, if you've watched my other video, you know that I use the Organique um, hair to like do my tracks. And I still am pretty old school with like gluing them in and stuff like that because I can't sew it in and I don't know anybody here. But I am very interested in trying the micro links. So um, I ordered some of the tools. Uh, to go ahead and put them in. I just need to order the hair. And so once I do that, you know, I can get those installed because this is really getting on my nerves. So it's either going to be micro links or back to my braids, one of the two, whichever one I can make happen sooner, girl, because I think I'm kind of over the tracks. Just saying. For some reason, I have misplaced the detangling um, brush. Probably not me. My daughter likes to comb her doll's hair. And she probably has done something with it. But at any rate, it is missing. So I need to, while we're out today, replace the Denman brush that I had. Because I, I need to do her hair tonight as well, like wash it and detangle it. So I definitely need that brush for her. She has really curly hair and a Denman is required. So I've been taking this um, emergency vitamin C and it actually has B12 in it as well. And I know you guys have heard me talk about being dehydrated, but when I add this to my water and I drink the whole bottle, it's like I get energy. <laughs> well, obviously because it has B12 in it, but it'll encourage you to like get more bottles of water in. So I need to do that before we hit the gym. And let's roll. So Starbucks sells this medicine ball tea that's really great, especially during this COVID season we're in now. So when you're feeling a little under the weather, it's good to have a simple recipe under your belt to prepare at home. And I want to show you guys mine here today. Okay, so what I have here is some brown sugar, some just regular standard green tea. You're going to need ginger. This is the power packing punch that's going to give it a kick. And also your unfiltered honey, raw honey, and some lemon juice. Now that our tea is brewed, we can go ahead and add the other ingredients. Okay, so I like to use half a teaspoon of brown sugar, and I use a heaping teaspoon of ginger. This is what's going to give it that medicinal punch for that cold and cough. Also, unfiltrated honey, I use a teaspoon of that as well. And lemon juice to taste. So you can use as much or as little as you want. I don't like sweet, so I use a little. And enjoy. I absolutely love wilding out with my little ones, y'all. 
my grandbaby does not live in the area so when she comes around it is time to settle in and take time to have fun with them which i do all the time anyway but when she's around because i don't get to see her as often it's definitely a special treat So my granddaughter and my daughter are actually a year apart. And when they are together, y'all, it is a connection that you would not believe. They love working together and playing together. Prayerfully, I hope that they continue to be as close and to be as grounded and strong with each other. I love it. After a long play date at the trampoline park, we decided to get hibachi. And I got some vegetable fried rice, with mushrooms, carrots, and zucchini and onions. Y'all, it was delicious. I'm gonna stop the vlog here. Thank you for watching if you've made it this far. Stay tuned next week for my next vlog. Toodles.